and welcome to A Week in Trucks in association with Daft Trucks. This week, we visit Welsh Paul Hawley of Parry and Evans and spend 10 days behind the wheel of Mercedes-Benz Actros. When Welsh Paul based Parry and Evans started up as a sack business in the early 1960s, it probably never thought it would be operating as a major recycling business half a century later. While it used to operate a very mixed fleet, including Bedford's when the family used to deliver milk, it now has 14 MANs in its yard. The latest additions include three TGX models and three TGS units, with another four tractors due this year. To read more about this impressive operation, see this week's Commercial Motor. The RHA has said smaller hauliers may face financial ruin if the government fails to include HGVs in plans for a diesel scrappage scheme. The move is expected to be announced imminently and is hoped will improve the UK's air quality. But the RHA said the government should include hauliers in the scheme to offset the costs of emission taxes. It claimed it was unreasonable to expect the industry to pick up the costs of the government's failure to meet EU emission standards. <coughs> Commercial Motor recently spent 10 days behind the wheel of a 26-tonne Mercedes-Benz Actros Rigid and we were impressed with its versatility. We thought that the extra payload and greater flexibility outweighed the higher capital costs and increase in operating costs, but would have preferred a shorter wheelbase or a lower body height. The rear sear axle made the difference in tight situations and we were impressed with its internal storage and vision from the cab. To read more about our time in the truck, pick up this week's issue of Commercial Mater, out now. That was A Week in Trucks. Thanks for watching.